Hello, I'm Emre Köse from IBM Turkey. I'm a member of storage team and I am for business partner seller. Thanks for joining for a wonderful event. We are together with Engin from Çözümtek. He is founder and CEO of Çözümtek and Çözümtek cloud companies. Hi Engin, could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Hello, I am Engin Çetinkaya, the founder of an IT integrator company and local cloud provider in Turkey. I have been an IBM business partner for nearly 20 years. I worked as a system network and storage engineer in large companies for years. And as one of the Turkey's oldest Microsoft certified trainers and probably the first VMware certified instructor, which I worked as a trainer for years. Besides being a company owner, I still work as an engineer in the field. In particular, I have a lot of experience with IBM storage devices down to smallest pieces of componentry. If I am reviewing a system, I examine it according to its best performance and I know the most of these details. The simplest example is years ago when VMware did not introduce the round robin as the default multipath driver, I figured out how to provide incredible performance increases by switching multipath to round robin. And the customers would be amazed by it, even though it was a tiny adjustment, which I knew when I did. There is no substitute for experience, as they say. Nowadays, for example, VMware defaults to a 1000 IO restriction for a loon. And when you increase it to unlimited with a small parameter change, the storage performance suddenly skyrockets. I have gathered multiple different IO tests, which I used for measuring performance with all of these changing environment variables. And they work effectively, whether the underlying storage is from IBM or another vendor. And Engin, you already have a good technical stuff. Why are you both a company owner and working as a technical engineer? <laughs> My, my colleagues ask me this question the most. They want me to quit technical work and I, fo uh, I focus entirely on sales. But since this is my passion and I love technical work, I sometimes do it secretly from the technical team. They don't even know that I did these tests. In fact, one of the reasons, Engin, why we choose you is that you are both an IBM business partner and also you are an IBM customer too. Uh, especially you are using 5200 from its release. What is your opinion about the 5200s? Okay. When I saw the 5200 first time, I said, what kind of strange one new storage would this be? How many <laughs> disks can we fit inside? I was quite surprised, but even uh, wondered if I am had made a portable storage like a notebook. <laughs> then IBM sent me a demo, 5200, okay? When I started my test, I realized it was like an iceberg. Therefore, I didn't send back this demo device and kept it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm currently using 5200 with HyperSweep in my own cloud environment. Also, Thanks to Brocade Fiber Channel technology, we are using 5200 with NVMe over Fabric in our client's environment. And Engin, now as someone who has used 5200s for uh, own cloud or, uh, environment, and also you already tested 5300s in a lab environment, can you share your experience about the 5300s as well? Let's talk about 5300. First of all, I understood why you did not send me a physical device and opened a lab environment remotely. Yes. If you sent me a physical device, you probably wouldn't be able to get it back either. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me say that. I'm really happy with 5200. But after doing my test, I could not believe the difference between 5300 and 5200. In fact, if I tell you about these tests I did, Emre promised me replace my existing 5200s with the new brand 5300s, of course, free of charge. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. okay, let's briefly review the topics. It's nice that is still one U and it's used much lower, uh, much less power than its competitors. This is crucial for the data centers. The SDM4 disks on its provide protection against ransomware at the hardware level for a very short time. This feature is perhaps most important substance today. Right. As you already know, in previous FCM versions, interchip rate preventing disk failure with heat sensor and health check monitoring and arrival voltage, extend the performance and life of the disk and reduce the failure rate. In addition to all this, the 5300 use FCM4. Right. IBM, uh, IBM Flash Core Model 4 collect, analyze detailed ransomware statistics from every I.O. with no performance impact. I want to underline this, no performance impact. The new technology enabled by FCM4 is designed continuously monitor statistic gather from every single I.O. using machine learning models to detect anomalies like ransomware in less than a minute. One of the most important developments in the 5300 was the increased performance. With the increased physical processor, performance has increased by 25% compared to before. However, since the comp compression of FCM disk already provides data reduction and has no effect on performance, the 5300s already provide more performance than its competitors in the same segment. But with the increase in processor performance, it has become competitive with the upper segments. Yeah, Engin. And mm -hmm. also, finally, I want to ask your opinion about the new 64 gigabit ports. Okay. On yes. <laughs> finally, it has twice as many 32 gigabit fiber channel ports as before and even comes with 64 gigabit fiber channel ports in August, which actually rises this product from mid-level to enterprise level. For the 5300, it's important that it connects to fiber channel storage area network then can support 32 gig and 64 performance. It also has 10 and 25 gigabit Ethernet ports, which is very important speed for replicating the device to another location. You lastly mentioned that the Brocade 64 gigabit ports are really important in this segment, even 5200 and 5300 segment. So it's good news to IBM will offer a value bundle that includes the Flash System 5300s with the two IBM B type SN switches from Brocade at a discounted price. So thank you, Engin, for all your efforts from the demo side and also sharing your experience about the 5300. Thanks for all of your uh, efforts. And thanks okay. all of our audience that listen us and we are come back to the live now. Bye. Bye.